Rosie. Oh, this is my favorite. My favoriteest favorite. Hi, tell everyone that you're a little baby. Mm. Are you my little baby? Are you my baby puppy? Hi guys, welcome to today's video. As you can tell from the title, this is my May favorites compilation if Rosie doesn't eat them all before we get started. So I have a big list of all of the things that I've been enjoying most during the month of May. It's right down here, so don't mind me if I'm looking down here. So we're just gonna jump right in. You guys know how these work. Favorites videos are some of my favorite to watch, so I hope you guys really like them. And speaking of watches, my first favorite is my Apple Watch. I finally broke down and just got one for myself this month. I have been wanting one for ages and the main reason honestly is like the activity tracking features because I work from home, I work for myself and pretty much outside of my workout I am like incredibly sedentary and this is a really good like wake up call, reality check, honest accountability tracker as far as like how many steps I'm getting, how many calories I'm burning per day and it's not necessarily that I care that much about like how many calories I burn, but it's just like I need to get in a healthy level of activity on a daily basis and I sometimes don't do that, especially on my rest days from the gym or the barn, like I just hardly do anything. So this kind of just keeps me honest and keeps me accountable for that. And there are so many other features that I really haven't like explored yet. So if you have an Apple Watch, let me know what your favorite features to use are other than like the activity and workout stuff because those are really fun for me but I know that there's like a whole other world of cool stuff on here. Definitely let me know. I don't really have any like apparel this month but I have accessories that I've been loving. So next I have been loving these new Free People bralettes that I got. I ordered these from the Free People website and excuse Rosie barking in the background but I ordered these from the Free People website and they are just so freaking cute like when they're on they just look really dainty i got them in black and white and they are just super cute and like very feminine i love pieces like this that are feminine but also like low maintenance because i like to look cute and girly but i also don't like having to put a lot of effort into my outfit and then the back is just like ruched i don't know what the word is for this but it's very very stretchy i got larges just because i do have a large rib cage slash back muscles but i could definitely have sized down to a medium or even a small because they're really stretchy but here's the white one too again i got these from free people everything will be linked down below so you can just go ahead and click that if you want direct access next thing are my ride or die sandals birkenstock eva arizona's so these are like the classic birkenstock style but they're in like a rubber material i guess kind of like if crocs and birkenstocks had a stylish child and as you can see these ones are incredibly worn and dirty i think i've had these for two or three years and they were my go-to like errand running and just bopping around type shoes i love to wear them with like my lulus and just you know slip them on and go but now they're mostly like my barn shoes because they're super dirty i could probably use like a magic eraser and clean them up but i did just get some new black ones and they're extremely comfortable they're supportive it's like a good alternative to just like the rubber flip-flop and i'm a big big fan they also are way cheaper than like the suede and leather um birkenstock arizona's i think these are like 40 dollars instead of like 100 and something so definitely check those out i got mine from nordstrom and they come in like a bajillion different colors but those are my go-to love them the next accessory actually is on my face right now they are my felix gray glasses and i don't necessarily wear glasses i don't like need a prescription or anything i have good vision but these do actually serve a purpose and they are blue light blocking glasses so blue light is like what comes from our screens and our technology and it interrupts our circadian rhythm um, it can like give you headaches, eye strain, and make it harder to fall asleep at night, especially if you use screens in the evening. So I've noticed a big difference in one, my ability to fall asleep, and two, my eye strain, and just like the way your eyes feel like pressure and tired at the end of a day of staring at your screen. These have like relieved that for me, and they're actually really cute. So fun fact for you guys, when I was growing up, I like wished that I had bad vision so that I could wear glasses. I've always just wanted glasses. I think they're really cute. I think they make any like 
casual comfy outfit look a little bit more like polished and put together or any like dressier outfit look a little like hipper I guess. I feel like that's really cliche and stereotypical but it's true. I just love wearing them and I think they're adorable so that makes it easy for me to remember them. I pretty much wear them every day at this point because I have noticed a really big difference in like my eye strain and my ability to fall asleep at night like I said. So, I'm a big fan. Next thing is another accessory, but it's actually not mine. It's Rosie's, but it's so cute. I just had to share, and it is this little harness. So, this is what it looks like. It has little unicorn rainbow star pattern on the round ones, and then on the flat ones, it has some pink and purple and blue tie-dye, and it's just so cute. This part obviously goes around her neck. And then this part goes around her belly. And this is from the brand Frenchie Bulldog. So obviously it is made for French Bulldogs. <laughs> but I've been seeing these around on Frenchies and just thought that like their fabrics and patterns and stuff were so, so cute. And this is like the only time that Rosie will ever be able to fit in them. So I went ahead and got her one. That is my last favorite accessory slash like apparel type item. Moving on, we'll talk about some food stuff. And I don't actually have any like real food. I have a beverage and a salad dressing, which are I guess like accessories for your food. So this is just like an accessories favorite video basically. Anyway, my favorite beverage lately has been this bubbly sparkling water. And I just recently tried the apple flavor. I've tried the cherry and I think like the orange or something and they've all been really good. It is a sparkling water that's, it's not sweet or anything, but it is pretty flavorful. So it's really good at like satisfying your craving or just having a little something something when you're feeling snacky But you know that like you're not actually hungry. Maybe you're just bored and like want something to sip on This is perfect for that. I get these at Target. I'm not sure where else they're sold, but that's where I get them zero calories really really delicious healthy little option for when you need a little something something this next thing I feel like you guys could totally guess if you have watched any of my recent like food videos because I am addicted to it and it is the Trader Joe's green goddess salad dressing this has been stocked in my fridge ever since I discovered it like I stay stocked up. I have at least three in my fridge at all times because I'm just terrified that they're gonna stop making it or like run out and that would just be really really sad but this is a delicious super healthy super like nutritious salad dressing it is made from avocado green onion cold pressed lemon juice chives basil and garlic it's vegan has really great ingredients and each serving of two tablespoons is only 20 calories you really can't beat that as far as salad dressings go and it's super flavorful like i use it on salads i use it on my avocado toast i use it as like a pesto sort of deal when i make like pasta or the cauliflower gnocchi from trader joe's which should be also another favorite like i've been loving that excuse Rosie barking she's like in a mood today but yeah I'm just obsessed with this I'm not even kidding you guys this is the shit like you will not regret it so go get some stock up put it on everything bathe in it I don't care you're gonna love it as much as I do so those are my two food related things food accessories basically we'll move on to like beauty and skincare type of stuff the first thing is my natural deodorant that I've been using for a few months now. I started using this, I think, in January, and I've been obsessed ever since. This is Primally Pure Natural Deodorant. I like to use the lavender flavor, <laughs> lavender scent. Mmm, mmm. I love how it smells. Strong, but not overpowering, and it smells like natural. It smells like you're literally sticking your face in a lavender bush, but it's actually my armpit. So Primally Pure is founded by someone that's in my business mastermind that I'm in and she is absolutely amazing and all of her products are amazing. This deodorant has been my favorite. I've tried a lot of other natural deodorants and none of them like keep away odor like this one and I just love it. I love it so much that I asked her if I could get a code for you guys. So I do have an affiliate code with them. It is just Marie and that will save you money on your order if you do decide to try it out. You can even get a smaller size than this if you're not super sure um, if you're gonna like it or what scent you want. So highly, highly recommend 
Keep in mind though guys, natural deodorant is not an antiperspirant. You still will sweat, get the same amount as usual, and if you're just starting to um, transition to natural deodorant, you'll probably actually sweat more just because your body is used to being like blocked up. So just keep that in mind. They have like resources for what to expect when transitioning to natural deodorant, but I'm a huge, huge advocate for doing so. Even if it's kind of annoying in the short term, it's totally worth it for your health. Next for beauty products is this Super Goop Defense Refresh Setting Mist, which has broad spectrum sunscreen and SPF 50. Finally, a face sunscreen that doesn't ruin my makeup. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. I've been looking for something like this for so long and I finally found it and I'm super happy. I got this on Sephora and basically all it is is a setting mist that has 50 SPF in it and all you do is shake it and then miss your face. I've been in the sun a lot lately and my skin is still super healthy, super glowy, it has not gotten burned even when my body has. Um, because this stuff is legit. It doesn't make you feel like your makeup's gonna like slide off or look oily or anything like that. It's basically just a setting mist that has sunscreen in it. It does smell a little sunscreen-y, but it's nothing unbearable, so don't worry about that. It's also cruelty-free, non-irritating, and allergy tested, so that's all good as well. Last but not least, for my favorite beauty products, I have the Tula Aqua Infusion Oil-Free Gel Cream. I started using this pretty recently, like the second half of May probably, but I'm obsessed with it. I use it in the mornings for like a quick hit of moisture that is absorbed really quickly and won't like mess with my makeup or anything like that. I use their day and night cream at night and put like a thick layer on. And when I wake up, my skin is still nice and glowy and hydrated, but I just do this for like one quick shot of moisture that will kind of carry me through the day. I do have dryish skin, um, even though it's like really hot and humid here right now. I just like to keep my skin nice and hydrated. I just feel like this is a really quick, easy way to like quench your skin before the day starts. It absorbs super fast. And yeah, you guys know I've been using Tula products pretty much exclusively for the last like four months or so, I wanna say, maybe five months. And my skin is the best it's ever been. So definitely check this and their other products out. They're my favorite. I do have a discount code for them and it's 20% off. The code is Marie, that's just Tula.com. Use code Marie, get 20% off. Thank me later, the products are absolutely Absolutely amazing. Moving on from beauty to some entertainment type stuff, we have the Nintendo Switch. I have it upside down. The Nintendo Switch. A little known fact about me is that when I was younger, I was like a computer game addict. I'm an only child, so when I would come home from school, I didn't really have like anything to do until my parents came home so I'd either watch TV or play computer games and I loved like Zoo Tycoon, Sims, um, Roller Coaster Tycoon and I also really liked nerdy games like Age of Mythology that was a game where you would like build a civilization and then I also was a huge RuneScape nerd huge like I even had a paid account my dad paid for it for me and I like had a RuneScape boyfriend at one point did anyone else play RuneScape and know what I'm talking about? Because I was I was addicted, like it was it was my life. So <laughs> anyway, I have a long history of video games, but I don't really like like fighting games or like shooter games or anything like that. I just I'm not very good at them and I don't find them very fun. So um, we actually have found a game that we love on our, on our Nintendo Switch and it's called Overcooked, and that's like um, if you guys have ever played Frick, what's that kitchen game? I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about. It's one of those games where you have to cook stuff and there's like a time limit and you have to like multitask and stuff. And it's really fun to play with multiple people. It's not really fun to play by yourself, but Andrew and I love playing it and we really wanna have our friends over and play it as a group. We love that it's more interactive than just sitting on the couch and watching Netflix together or whatever. So yeah, Nintendo Switch and Overcooked are like hella favorites. And then also I really like watching Andrew play Zelda. Um, Zelda does have kind of a lot of fighting because there are a lot of monsters and stuff in it. So if I play, I will catch wild horses and ride them around and change our outfit and stuff. And then I will help us travel places. But as soon as we run into a monster or something, I just hand Andrew the controller. And by the way, there's a dock for this. So you can play it on your TV and then 
use the controllers separately or you can take it on the go and play it like this. So that's really cool and that's something that we've been kind of mixing into our nightly Netflix routine. And speaking of Netflix, our favorite show for the month of May, Imposters, which is basically about this woman who is like a professional con artist and she like steals people's identity and then marries people like totally makes them fall in love with her and like she kind of falls in love with them and marries them and takes all their money and then ghosts and then she's like part of this really like cutthroat organization and basically the people that she has ghosted on like band together and try to foil her and I don't know. It's crazy and there are so many plot twists in that show. I'm on season two now. I would say season one is definitely better than season two. I still like season two, it's just not as good. So definitely check out Imposters if you need a new show on Netflix. And I would love y'all's suggestions for shows that you like. I've heard that The Handmaid, or is it The Handmaiden? The Handmaiden's Tale? The Handmaid's Tale? I heard that that one's really good and that I would probably like that. And then as far as music goes, I've been loving the pop remix playlist on Spotify for my workouts. It basically just remixes a bunch of popular pop songs and it, the remix is so that they all like flow together. Like the songs are separate but they all flow into one another which is fun because then you can just play it for your workout and like set it and forget it and not have to like mess with your phone and get out of your flow. I think that wraps up all of my favorites. I hope I didn't ramble too much but that's kind of my specialty so take it or leave it. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. It really does help out my channel and it also helps me to know what videos you want to see more of. And then also be sure to hit the subscribe button if you're new here. Whether you're new or not, pretty, 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 please hit the notification bell because rumor has it YouTube is changing their algorithm kind of like how Instagram has and they're not going to have your subscriptions in chronological order anymore anymore, which is like, ugh, it's a dagger to the heart for creators. If you put all of the time and energy into creating a video and then publish it and people might not even get notified about your video, that's so annoying. So if you could, please hit the notification bell just so you can know when I upload a new video and you don't miss any in the future. Upcoming videos are going to include this um, gooey peanut butter chocolate chip blondie recipe I've been like obsessing over. I've made it like three different times and Andrew wants me to make it again tonight because we're obsessed with it. Like it's so good and so easy. Um, so I'm gonna film that for you guys. I'm gonna film a summer fashion haul. I basically got like a whole new summer wardrobe and then also just vlogs, hanging out, all that good stuff. So be sure that you're subscribed. Notification bell is on. I appreciate that so much. Thank you again for hanging out with me today. I had so much fun sharing my favorites with you and I will see you again very soon. Bye.